Modular icons by Native Instruments. This is a contact library, part of the Play series. And what they did here is they sampled some very iconic modular systems and they combine that with a very powerful sequencer and effect and you can also see the sound sources and the artists so uh, these are the groups of sounds that you have and you, you see the actual system here so you have ARP, you have Keith Emerson's Moog Modular, you have Roland 700, you have the custom Moog Modular and some other very famous tools and you can of course see who's, uh, who's the artist here very interesting and what we'll do in this video is I'm going to show you how this uh, contact library works and on the surface the play series is pretty simple but when you go uh, and uh, dig in you'll see that there's a lot to it so let's get started and get to know modular icons this is modular icons and as you can see it has very simple user interface like other instruments in the play series maybe except the Butchvig drums and we have the A layer, the B layer and we can balance between them so right now this is what we have and I can select different sample for the A layer and another one for the B one, the B layer. And so right now this is what we have. So it's a sine triangle and it's uh, designated as A. I can select something else for the A layer. And we have some pages here so we can just browse through those pages of settings and, and samples. And I'll go to the B layer and we'll select something else. And so you can start with a preset and change it completely. You can select something different for the A layer and the B layer. And there uh, you go with a completely new sound. We also have the balance control here to balance between the A and the B layer. And we have a volume control here, overall volume. And we have some macros. So each of the presets will have a different set of macros. Now, some of the play series uh, uh, instruments will have the ability to actually let you program those macros. I don't see that here. And what we can do is we can uh, set the sequencer. So let's have a quick look here. So in the sequencer, we have four tabs. We have the pitch velocity, which means that the top one is the pitch, just changing the pitch. And the bottom one is the velocity. And I can also set the number of steps here. So click these uh, up and down arrows and you can have more steps or less. And we can set the direction. So it can go from left to right, right to left or both ways. We can also uh, set this to affect just the uh, B or A layer or both of them. And uh, we can introduce some gating. And of course, like any other sequencer, we have the rate. So right now it's set to uh, 116. We can, we can change that to um, eight notes. And we can add some uh, swing. So it's a, it's a pretty simple sequencer, very effective, but we also have the macros tabs here. So we have macro one and two, three and four, five and six. And these are the uh, first couple, the second couple, the third couple here. And right now we can see that this sequencer will actually affect the, the first couple here. And we can, for example, um, set uh, the last one here, for example, to, to affect the delay and reverb. So the top one is the delay, the bottom one is the reverb and I can actually do something like this and then as we go we'll have more reverb and more delay all right so now 
other than that, we also have some settings which are pretty interesting. So uh, we see, again, the A and the B layer, and we can, again, select the sample for the A and for the B. But we also can set this uh, to be a mono, legato, and what I think is very, very cool is the settings for the range of keys. So right now, uh, the, both part A and B, the, the, uh, both of these layers are covering, I mean, they're overlapping on my keyboard, but I can set the A layer for something else. So for example, I can set this from uh, C minus two to C, uh, uh, to B one, for example, or uh, something else. And now I have um, the left side of my uh, keyboard is uh, actually um, overlapping. So both A and B are, are playing there, but the right side is just the B set. So I can set this to not overlap. I just get this to be a C2, for example. And now, I have some uh, combination here. So I have some uh, some part of my keyboard is just covering uh, the A layer. Some will be combined and then the right side will be just the, the B. So it's, it's very, uh, very interesting, very useful. And let's just play that. All right, and of course we can set the uh, the uh, pitch bending and some uh, uh, things that are related to the velocity curve. So this is uh, the settings. So um, I think we covered pretty much uh, everything. I I really like this uh, this library. It's it's pretty cool. There are some very interesting sounds here, and I find it very useful. It sits perfectly in the mix. And what we'll do now is uh, I'm just going to select some uh, some presets and give you a demo of how they sound. And if you uh, if you want me to uh, cover anything else, just let me know. If you have any question, just leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.